Greetings, YouTube, and welcome back to Which is the Moon. I'm your Saturday hostess from Shine Morning Ray, and this week's topic is the afterlife and reincarnation. Um, I need to make very clear in this video that the theories and the beliefs of the afterlife and where a person goes when they cease to exist or when the body dies, um, however you want to look at it, the beliefs are very widespread and there are many, many different belief systems in how this takes place and what happens and, and your soul or your energy or your whatever you want to call it. So, I want to make it very clear that um, in this video, this is my belief, my, what I feel happens, and in no way is it meant to insult or degrade or say that anybody else is wrong. Um, this is just the way that I particularly feel. So, and believe it or not, I've actually gotten these questions before. Um, somebody just wanting to know, where do you go when you die? Very simply put. So, here is my belief. Um, I'm a very strong believer in reincarnation, and I believe that there are different levels of incarnate, of incarnation, um, and I believe that the energy within the body, I guess for lack of a better term, we could call it the soul, that the soul does not die. It cannot die. Um, it is what makes us who we are. It is energy. It is all-consuming. It is in everything. It is in all beings all non-beings, it is. It just is. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I need some incense. <laughs> so, um, what do I believe? What I believe is that there are many different levels of reincarnation. I believe that um, when you first are, are when when you are pulled from the, um, this is very difficult to explain, when you are pulled from <clears throat> that cosmic soup bowl of energy, and wow, that's a lot of incense, isn't it? Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, when you are pulled from that cosmic and you are born for the first time, that when you are born, or just prior to being born, you actually have a goal, that you have something that you want, that you need to learn, something that your soul or energy um, is seeking. And when I say... Um, that you're wanting to learn something. I mean, there are um, different plateaus of learning and knowledge and um, levels that you can, that the soul actually needs to learn from. Thus, let me try to make this, I'm sorry. Thus, after you have learned all of these level, that's when you come to what is known as full enlightenment. Okay, so there's there's lots in between that. Um, I believe that there are several different levels of uh, reincarnation. I believe that there are many things that the soul needs to learn to be to have that infinite wisdom, to be have that full enlightenment. Um, so there's many different levels, and the soul doesn't really 
the concept of time is a body, is a um, flesh type thing. So the reincarnation can happen time and time and time and time. And time. It can happen so many times that it can take thousands of years to um, actually reach that level of enlightenment. And then there are even times when it can take even longer. For instance, um, say uh, a soul is in a body and for some reason that life is cut short. Um, I don't believe that there's a divine plan in how long uh, a person is to be on earth. Um, but let's say that that soul is cut short, or that life, excuse me, that life is cut short, and that soul was not able to accomplish or learn or fully learn everything that it meant to accomplish in that lifetime. So things can be put on hold and you actually have a choice and this is where spirits come in I'm going to give you an example this is Charlie some of you know Charlie some of you don't I strongly believe that Charlie's life was cut short and in cutting Charlie's life short he was not able to accomplish what he had planned to accomplish in that lifetime so what he has chosen to do is kind of be in, I guess what you would call a limbo state to try to learn more or to complete something or to finish something that he had not had a chance to complete originally. So until Charlie feels that he has learned or accomplished what he wanted to learn, Charlie has chosen to stay in what is known as a spirit state. Once Charlie has learned what he wants to learn, or um, the soul has accomplished what it's wanted to accomplish, then it will move on and move back into the reincarnation state and move into another life for a new learning or a new training. Or And, and when I say a learning, I mean things like... Um, Say a soul needs to learn compassion. So in compassion, they may be born into a life that is very poor or um, have to sacrifice a great deal. So the full lifespan would teach that soul compassion. And I, it, it's very difficult because I don't want to say that, you know, I can write down in, in a textbook or read out of a textbook a list of things that a soul needs to learn because that's definitely not how it is. But that's, that's kind of an example. Uh, and when you're, you're cut short or say you have passed and your soul just didn't feel like it had accomplished what it had accomplished, that's where we get our um, spirit or ghost, per se. Now, there is also a thing with, for instance, spirit guides. In between lives, I believe that we have a choice where we can choose to stay on this plane and guide or teach others perhaps what we know. And that would be a classic example of a spirit guide. Hold on, let me put this on again. So that would be an example of a spirit guide or a ghost, I guess you might say. <clears throat> or 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 that's the difference between a spirit guide and, say, a lingering ghost. One has unfinished business, unfinished learn, um, and the other one has chosen to stay on that plane and guide us or guide someone about something that that particular spirit has already seen, gone through, or feels that they can help us with. So, so 
you have that choice. In reincarnation, I also believe that once the soul or the energy has left the body, because the body is just a, it's just a shell, and that's obvious because obviously it grows old, it 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 wrinkles, it functions start to shut down. Um, so it's just a shell. It's 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 what's housing that soul. Um, so in reincarnation, once the body dies, that soul leaves that shell to make that choice as to whether or not it wants to go on and it wants to learn more or something new in a in a new body, or if it wants to stay on the plane of the spirit realm and possibly um, assist us on our plane or perhaps it's a ghost and it has unfinished business okay um, now reincarnation I, I personally do not believe that um, you can come back as a blade of grass um, but I do feel that you can possibly come back as an animal because there are very good reasons why a person or a soul would want to come back and learn things from that particular being. So yes, I believe in reincarnation. As far as afterlife, um, maybe once you have reached that ever enlightening position. Um, I see you being on a level that sees all and knows all and um, has that opportunity to come back if you want to or to be in a place with others who are enlightened as well, and when I say enlightened, I mean you have reached that final stage where complete serene, you know what you need to know, and, and if you could just imagine what it would take to know everything, that would take so many lifetimes, so much knowledge, so many places, things, uh, emotion just so you can imagine how becoming fully enlightened is probably a plateau that very very few of us uh, have have yet to reach um, I believe that there's different levels that you possibly reach you can be a new soul you can be an old soul and there's different levels in between um, but I guess the main thing that I'm usually asked is, um, where do I go when I die? When my body dies, it goes in the ground and it becomes one with the Mother Earth again. My soul does not die. It doesn't die and it doesn't stop. And it is forever learning and... Um, which would be a good reason why things happen that um, people say, oh, I feel like I've been here before. Or um, you have people that have uh, uh, recognition of things that they don't feel they should know. Um, of course, no afterlife or reincarnation or heaven or any of that will ever be factual for any of us because you have to go there to experience it. <laughs> so um, I know that there are some people out there that just feel when the uh, flame flickers out, that's the end, that's all, and there is no more. Um, I don't believe that way because there's just too many spirits out there and just 
I just find it hard to believe that way. Um, anyway, okay, so that is how I feel about reincarnation and the afterlife. And um, it's a very spiritual thing. It's an individual belief, and um, there are different people who feel different ways. So um, I, I do not like it when somebody tells me that you are so wrong. Um, so I won't do that to anybody. Um, your belief is your own, and your belief is strong, and it is what you are. And I will never call anybody on that. Um, but my belief is that uh, once this body is gone and the old crone has worked her way into the ground, um, that the soul is going to come back and just have glorious things to learn. And uh, I will be reborn again. Um, I'm not real sure that I want to be one of those ones that is in that spirit world yet, um, but I don't know if I have that choice, so I guess we will see. Um, other than that, I guess that's about it. So I guess if you guys have any questions, um, please leave them in the comments section below. I'll do my best to answer what I can. Like I said, this is a very spiritual and individual um, belief. So. I don't want to guide somebody on a path that may not be their own. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Let us know that you love us. Um, here at Witch of the Moon, we love you. And if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> Amethyst Moon told me we're going to be having our uh, Witch of the Moon um, giveaway very soon. I'm so excited for that. I think you guys are going to love it. Um, and for those of you who have subscribed, thank you so much. We love you. We are just floored at the amount of subscribers that we have gotten already. Um, and do leave us comments. We like the comments and we like to respond. Um, other than that, I guess that's it. So, y'all have an awesome weekend and I guess I will be talking to y'all soon. Blessed be. Bye-bye.